Hi, welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to explain to you the topic bearing. Many students find this topic very confusing. If you know your basics, this topic is not really very confusing. So in this video, we are going to do questions that are uh, very easy to understand and that will help you to understand the concept very clearly. Later, I will uh, put up a video solving questions from the past papers. Do share this video with your friend. Kindly subscribe to the channel if you have not done this yet. And if you need help in any topic, do mention in the comment section. I will try to help you out. Before we start the bearing questions, there are three things that you need to keep in mind. A bearing is then angle. It is measured clockwise in the north direction and it is written in three digits. Let's read some questions now. The first question, find bearing of B from A. So we have to look at A. A is here and from the north we go clockwise. So what is the bearing we are getting? This is the bearing. This is the angle we are getting 40. But remember, we have to write it in three digits. So we add a zero in the front. So this is the bearing of B from A. Next, we have bearing of A from B. Where is B? Here. And from north, we are going clockwise like this. So this is the bearing that you want. How to get that bearing? There are two ways to get that bearing. If the angle opposite it is given to you, this is 40, then the bearing of B will be 40 plus 180, which is going to be 220. Or we find this angle here. How do we find it? Remember that these two lines are parallel lines. Because they are parallel lines, uh, the opposite angle is equal to 180. So the angle here will be 180 minus 40, which will be 140. So this angle is 140. And we know that angle at a point equals to 360. Therefore, to find the bearing uh, B, this outside part, you have to subtract from 360, 140. Let's see what answer we get. 360 minus 140. You will get the same answer, 220. Okay, I hope it's clear to you. Now let's move on to the next question. Find bearing of C from A. So again, we are going to move clockwise. From A is here. We are looking at this whole angle. How do we get it? angle at a point equals 360. Therefore, 360 minus 55 will give us 305. I couldn't use this rule because this angle is not given to us. Now the next part of the question. Find bearing of A from C. Well, C here. And we move north. From north, we move clockwise. So this is the path. This is the angle you want. To find this, we can use two methods. Both these methods we can use. One method will be uh, the parallel lines are there. So the total is equal to 180. Therefore, to find that angle we can multi uh, sorry subtract from 180 55 will give you 125 so this is one method that if two lines are parallel you need to remember the sum of the opposite two angles will equal to 180 if this bearing has been given to you and you want to find the inside bearing the other method is from three, uh, what is that bearing? 305. From 305 minus 180. 
and the answer will be 125. If you understand this much very well, you will be able to solve most of the questions. So now we will move on. We'll be solving a lot of basic easy questions so that the concept is drilled into your brains and you will not forget it. I think it's a good idea if you pause the video and solve all these questions from what I've explained before and then come back and check your answer. Okay, welcome back. I hope you have done and I hope you get all your answers right. Let me start explaining and solving. For all the first four questions, we have to find the bearing of B from A. And for all the questions, A is here and B is here. What do you remember about finding the bearing? That it is from north, so this is the north, and we move clockwise. So this is the angle we have to find for each question. All the four questions are different. The first one, the answer is, we already saw that it is moving clockwise from north, so it's 45. You have to put a zero. Bearing has to be in three digit. The second one, we have been given the reflex angle. So angle at a point is equal to 360. To get the inside angle, we are going to subtract from 360 to 85. And we will get 75. So what is the bearing? 075. The third question. These are two parallel lines and this angle has to be give, has given been given to us and we need to find the angle here. So how can we find it? These are co-interior angles and co-interior angles always equal to 180. So to get the angle here, we are going to subtract from 180, 110. You will get 70. This is 70. So what is the bearing? 070. Now for the last question in this line, how do we find this? There are two ways to find it. Please remember, if the reflex angle has been given to you and you want to find the other angle, you subtract 180 from it and you will get 50. So your bearing is 050. This is one way. The other way is if the reflex angle is given, you find the inside angle. So it will be 360 minus 230, which will give us 130. So this is 130. And we already saw in this question that if we have uh, one angle and we want to find the other angle, if the two lines are parallel, we subtract from 180. So 180 minus 130 will be 50. So this is the second way to find the angle. Now these four uh, questions are of finding the bearing of A from B. So at B, we are pointing here at B. We go from north clockwise. So this is the angle you need to find for all the four questions. This is the angle. And each question is different like the above one. So Let's start. The first one is going to be from north clockwise. It's 230. So your bearing is 230. The second one, we want to find this bearing. So it will be 360 minus 110 angle at a point. Therefore, the total sum of the angle is equal to 360. It's 250, so the bearing is 250. And then this one. To find this bearing, there are two ways to do. Whenever you have the angle here, you add 180 to it. So 105 plus 180 will give us 285. 
So the bearing is going to be 285. This is one way. The other way is this angle I will subtract from 180. 180 minus 105 will give us 75. And then from 360, we subtract 75 and you will get 285. So whichever way you understand, it's fine. But this method is better. Uh, if the angle is given to you, you add 180. The next one is a little bit longer. First, we will have to find the angle here. So 360 minus 285 will give us 75. And then to find the reflex angle here, we are going to add 180 to 75. It will be 255. Okay, so now we are going to solve a few more questions. They are the same what we did before, but drawn in a little different manner. Let's see the first question. Find the bearing of A from B. Where is B? Here. So we draw the line north. And we are looking at this angle clockwise. What is the bearing going to be? You have been given 57. You add 180. So 57 plus 180 is 237. That's our bearing. Next question. Find the bearing of A from B. Where is B? B is here. And moving clockwise, this is the bearing we are looking at. So it's angle at one point, therefore 360 minus 277, answer is 83. Remember to put the zero in the front. Next, find the bearing of A from B. Where is B? Here. And we are supposed to find clockwise from north. So it's 238. I hope the concept is becoming much clearer now. Next. Find the bearing of A from B. B is here. We draw the knot and then we want to find this angle. If the angle is inside the line, inside the, above the line, you will notice that it is going to be less than 180. If it's outside, then it's going to be more than 180. So this one, uh, they are co-interior angles. 180 minus 76 will give us 104. So this angle is 104. That's the bearing, 104. Find the bearing of B from A. So this is the bearing we are looking at. Not clockwise. And how are we going to find that? First, we'll have to find this one. So 360 minus 293 will give you 67. This is 67. And you just add 180, which will be 247. So this bearing is 247. Whenever you have a number which is less than 180 as the inside angle and you want to find the other angle, you add 180 to it. Find the bearing of B from A. A is here and we move clockwise. So this angle has been given to us. Angle at a point, therefore 360 minus 103 will be 257. Find the bearing of B from A. We need this angle. If the reflex angle, the opposite reflex angle has been given to you, from that subtract 180 and you will get 104. So this is 104. So if the reflex angle is given to you and you want to find the bearing, you're going to subtract from it 180. Next, find the bearing of A from B. This is the angle we are looking at. 
of a from b what are we going to do subtract 180 and we will get 112 now we'll move to another set of questions these questions may seem difficult but they are not they look different but basically they are the same thing only the angles are not marked in the diagram let's read the first question the bearing of s from l the minute you read from l go to that point mark it and is 285 that means this is 285 we are moving clockwise now find the bearing of l from s so s is here and moving clockwise from north we need to find this angle the reflex angle has been given to you and you want to find the other angle so what are we supposed to do from 285 minus 180 and we will get 105 so that is our bearing of l from s next question the bearing of s from c underline from c is 76 where is c here so from north clockwise it means this is 76 find the bearing of c from s s is here we need to find this bearing what will we do 76 plus 180 which is 256 the bearing of l from s is 118 from s here it means this is 118 why did we stop here because the line has been given to us and find the bearing of s from l so we need to find this bearing what will we do we will add 180 to 118 And that will be 298 next one the bearing of C from S from S is 248 so this whole thing is 248 find the bearing of S from C so this is what we are looking at so the reflex angle has been given to us we will subtract 180 248 minus 180 is 68 so that is our bearing but remember three digits so 068 I hope you have understood the, understood the concept of the bearing when you go through past paper questions related to bearing you will realize that you need to know trigonometry basically the sine and the cosine rules so that is very important Hopefully, I will post a video soon on questions related to bearings from past papers. If I have helped you, kindly subscribe to my channel, like the video and share it with your friends. Thank you for watching.